from my background as a family medicine doctor and work in a rural community in the southern part of our state in Minnesota, I enjoyed always the opportunity to do house calls and in-home visits as I started my primary care career. Over the last several years, we've gotten away from that and now moving back to community health and in-home care, utilizing a service like the community paramedicine service is going to be very instrumental in bringing us back to that concept of health care. When it comes to implementing a community paramedicine program, I believe it's extremely important before you institute the program to bring all of the healthcare stakeholders to the table to review what the role of a community paramedic will be. And it's important also in the community in which you're going to do this program to make sure that they have done a healthcare gap analysis to determine where the community paramedic will complement the care in a healthcare medical home arena. In education, you need a lot more patience than you might think of, and also you don't need to reinvent the wheel. There are a lot of uh, sources out there for you to use, including Dr. Wilcox and myself, and helping you set up an education program. Um, again, I can't emphasize patience and it will come. With an education program, you out there have a great opportunity to use a textbook that we did not have in the beginning that will all lay out our curriculum um, and that will take a lot of your time away from developing this program and looking for other resources through Jones and Barley to help you start your program. I see community paramedic evolving in the next five years to minimally a two-year degree, um, possibly a four-year degree. In 10 years, I'd love to see it evolve into a master's degree. From the point of view of where I believe community paramedics will be in five years, I believe there's an unlimited opportunity for community paramedics to become major players in the healthcare system, uh, both in the community and also in the public health arena. And it's going to be exciting for them to do that, to become academically trained providers in an institution that's recognized by our other healthcare partners. Uh, I would like to thank this young gentleman here to my right, Dr. Wilcox, who motivated me, invigorated me into this committee pyramid field, invigorated my career, and I'd also like to thank our partner on this, Al Benny, who's back in Minnesota shoveling our driveways. Thank you. From my point of view, I truly do appreciate the opportunity to have worked with a fine organization who assisted us in publishing this text, Jones and Bartlett, and I also really wish to thank the authors who did such fine work under my opportunity to be a co-editor in, in providing uh, authorship for the book and any uh, in a fine and very positive way. You're so nice.